Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. Today's video will be all about how I use wigs as a protective style. So what you see me doing here is on freshly washed hair. I'm just parting my hair where I want to place the closure of my wig and I'm going to start cornrowing. I like to braid my hair when it's wet because it's just really easy for me to get my hair down really, really flat. And I'm just moisturizing my hair. You know, you guys can go ahead and moisturize your hair however you normally do. I'm just using a couple of products from Shea Moisture. It's Jamaican Black Castor Oil line. And what you see me doing here now is parting my hair. Um, you know, from where the part and the closure is going to be going down. I just find that braiding it this way, you know, it just gets it the most flat. And I'm braiding my hair and one important thing that I always keep in mind when I'm doing this is that I do want it to be flat and braiding it while it's wet does help because my hair is natural but it's also really important that I'm not braiding too tight and that is because you know it helps me protect my hair and the less tension you expose your hair to you know the better it'll be for your hair you know hair growth and hair health and I also don't make the parts super duper big I kind of make them a little bit on the smaller side but they're not so small that it's adding a lot of tension to my hair when you move from one cornrow to the next see what I'm doing right here you just kind of move the leg of the previous cornrow into the leg of the next cornrow and that's what I'm going to be doing the entire time braiding my hair my braiding pattern is nothing special but you see I'm just connecting the braids when I got to the other side, it was not as wet as I wanted it to be, so I just took a spray bottle and wet it. I will be using a removable wig, and the beautiful thing about that is you'd be able to take the wig off before you go to sleep at night, and you'd be able to put leave-in conditioner in your hair whenever you just have more access to your hair to be able to take care of it. And ever since I started doing my hair this way, my hair has been doing so much better than it was because I'm putting like zero to no tension on my hair at all because my cornrows, as you can see, are a little bit on the looser side. And because I will be wearing a removal wig, it's tons less tension on my hair than it would have been had I done a sew-in. So that's really beneficial, wearing the wig and then braiding your hair not so tight. Almost no tension on your hair at all. And here is my wig. <laughs> I just have it here on a mannequin head and I'm brushing it out. This is hair from styledbyash.maven.com. This is the Peruvian straight. And it's just a closure with an elastic band to hold it down and four wig combs in each corner for security. And that's my wig. And I'm really excited to make a video about how I construct my wigs. Literally the next chance I get to make a wig, I'm gonna make a video about how I make the wigs. And I got some edge control and I'm laying my edges just a little bit around where the closure is going to be and you know, just around my edges in general. That's what my edges look like. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the wig up and line it up, you know, kind of where I want it to sit. And after I have it laying down where I want it to sit, I'm going to get my wig combs on the sides and around the back and put it on top of the elastic band and slide it back. So that's how the wig is sitting. I'm using my Cilia Titanium Flat Iron on 420 degrees and some BioSilk to straighten my hair. Just putting my, the BioSilk in my hair and you know detangling it, running my fingers through it, taking the titanium flat iron and straightening it. And literally that's what I'm doing for the entire wig. I'm making sure I'm not taking sections that are too big, but also not sections that are super tiny. And I'm just washing, <laughs> washing, I'm just flat ironing the sections. What I'm doing right now is super important. Every time I do anyone's hair, my hair, my client's hair, and there's a closure or a frontal involved, I make sure that I take little sections around where the part is and I flatten it by taking the flat iron to the root and then down to the end. And I just kind of part it, you know, take like a section around the part, like what you see me doing here, taking the flat iron and right there next to the root and straightening it. Doing this will make sure that the hair lays down flat. I'm 
laying it out and this is also something I always do. I take edge control, my favorite one to use is Silk Elements Edge Control and I put it on my hand, kind of like hair grease, rub it in and then I just spread it over. Thank you.